Okay, I'm gonna tell you about two more Libros Compañeros. Libros Compañeros are books that I put together uh, as companions. They are companions together, but mostly what it means is that they are gonna be companions to children. Those are books that I consider that would be really great companions to children at some moments of their lives when they are learning, when they are growing, also when they are going through difficult things, also when they are trying to understand about and learn about empathy, about the stories that we go through, also others go through, and how they are all part of our world and how we are all connected. Uh, and one of the books that I'm pairing is Dreamers, which is a book that I have created, but I, I am adding another book. These two books are going to be part of raffles. Uh, actually, I'm going to raffle 10 pairs of books, Libros Compañeros, uh, one book of uh, one copy of Dreamers, but then one copy of another book. And the book I'm going to show you today is a book about, you know, how I remember hearing a lot about how children's books are about cute things, and some of those cute things tend to be rabbits. Uh, well, the author of this story is someone who had taken the rabbit as a um, character and created a different kind of a story, a story that tells about the migration and the journey that some children have to take and some children take in order to reach their parents in the United States. Uh, and I don't have this book with me as a hardcover. I don't have it with me tangible in my hands uh, because I live here in Mexico and sometimes I don't get to uh, have all the books here. I, I cannot go out to the li uh, library or the bookstore and, and easily find them, not all of them. But what I do have is an ebook. Uh, what you will receive if you win this book in the raffle tomorrow, because we are going to do the raffle tomorrow, uh, you will receive a hard copy. Uh, and the book that I'm referring to is written by Duncan Tonatiu and it's called Pancho Rabbit and the Coyote. Um, and I'm going to read you a little piece of this. It is called Pancho Rabbit and the Coyote, a Migrant's Tale. And as you can see, here is the rabbit. But we are going to hear a different story, just in the same way that uh, Duncan has a very different way to uh, create his, his stories and his characters and his illustrations, where they are, um, he always talks about how they are inspired in... Um, the uh, mistake codices and you will see here what i'm referring to it says one spring the rains did not come and the crops could not grow so papa rabbit senor rooster senor ram and other animals from the rancho set out north to find work in the great carrot and lettuce field there they could earn money for their families. Many harvests went by, and it was finally time for Papa Rabbit to return home. His family was preparing a big fiesta. Everyone in the rancho was excited to see him, especially Pancho Rabbit, his eldest son. I hear Mama telling Senora Doc that Papa saved enough money in El Norte so that they won't ever have to leave us again, Pancho told his brothers and sisters. They were helping Mama cook Papa his favorite meal, mole, rice and beans, a heap of warm tortillas and a jugful of fresh aguamiel. The musicians arrived and began to tune their instruments while Pancho and his sisters hung papel picado to decorate the patio. The rabbit's friend from the rancho began to arrive. They listened to the musica. They ate some mole and they waited and waited. But Papa Rabbit did not appear. He must have had a late start, said Mama Rabbit. Maybe the weather was bad and he had to find shelter, said Pancho's younger sister. 
they waited some more, but still Papa Rabbit was not to be seen. When it was dark, the musicians and the guests said their goodbyes and headed home. Your papa will certainly arrive by morning, Senora Dog told Pancho and his family. After waiting and worrying long into the night, the rabbit family finally went to bed, except for Pancho. I have to find my father, he thought. He packed Papa's favorite meal, mole, rice, and beans, a heap of still warm tortillas, and a jug full of fresh aguamiel. He placed it in a mochila to carry it on his back and headed out. Here is the illustration. Pancho following the stars north. After walking a while, he met a coyote. Good evening, little rabbit. Where are you going? Good evening, Senor Coyote. I'm going north to meet my papa, who has been working in the carrot and lettuce field, replied Pancho. I'll take you there. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. It'll take you days and days to get there on this trail, replied the coyote. I can show you a shortcut. That is, if you give me that sweet and spicy molly you have, it smell it, I smell it a mile away. Pancho did not wish to give his father to his father's mole away, but he missed him terribly. As long as it gets me closer to papa, he said, and he let the coyote have it. And you probably can um, start seeing the undercurrents of this story. This seems and has the, the, the dynamic of a fairy tale, a fairy tale like, um, well, like Little Red Riding Hood, which I, I understand that that's kind of like how the story started when Duncan created this image, he had already been creating this book, he had already been creating images that were referring to how uh, people and children were using um, coyotes to cross uh, into the, uh, the United States um, in, in the same way that Red Riding Hood had tried to, had been uh, taken by the wolf uh, to take a different route, uh, a shortcut. So it comes, it weaves into this story, the, 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 the uh, fairy tale mode, uh, kind of like Red Riding Hood, and also it takes um, what we tend to uh, see as a cute character, a rabbit, uh, and creates a story that is very contemporary, that is very real, that even though it's fantasy, it talks about truth. Many of our children are going through this story, through, through these journeys themselves. Um, these stories might be harsh, might be difficult, but they are a reality in the lives of children. And children who can read their story reflected in a book, they know that their story exists, and by thus, they exist as well. They are being seen, they are being heard, they are being understood, they are being acknowledged, they have been accepted. And also those who of us who have not embarked in a journey like this, we get to see what other people and understand what other people have to go through so that we can also learn how to do things together so that nobody is alone when they are doing precisely a journey just like this one, a very, very difficult journey of going into another country. Um, so these two books, both Pancho Rabbit and Dreamers, I'm going to put them together in the raffle tomorrow. The raffle is going to be around noon, so you will have all day today and maybe sometime in the morning to enter the raffle. You do it by going to Twitter or going to Instagram and sharing with us, with everybody, how you do it to create this place in which the students, you, the children that you work with, know that they are safe, know that they are being heard, that they are being acknowledged, that they've been seen, that they are not alone, especially in, in the, some of the times in which seems like the um, 
the well-being of children is being uh, dismissed and is being attacked. Uh, so share with us what you are doing so we can all learn together. And uh, when you uh, write it in Twitter or um, put an image on Instagram, just use a tag so that we can all find it. And this tag is Libros Compañeros, Companion Books. Uh, I know the tag is in Spanish, so I'm going to write it down where I post this video so that you can all just copy it and paste it. And then we will be and I will be ready to hear some of the things that you have to share. Thank you.